Hi guys, Rhonda with that an H here. Okay, I am really excited to share with you today a giveaway that I am planning on doing and it will start as soon as this video is up and produced um, and it will run through August the end of August is it August 30th August 31st whatever the end of the month is and I'll tell you what it's for I have hit or close to hitting 5,000 subscribers and I'm thrilled and I want to thank you my subscribers for your thoughtfulness for your support I I love you guys I am so appreciative of your kind comments and mostly kind <laughs> um, and your enthusiasm and just your sweet words of support it really is amazing and I want to give back so this is what I want to do first of all I'm going to show you the prizes and then I'm going to tell you what you need to do if you would like to enter okay so let's scoot these things out of the way okay I have started uh, selling in my Etsy store I have glassine bags I have extra large, um, large, medium tall, medium small, extra small, and tiny glassine bags. And what one of the things that the the winner will receive is a set of all of these. Um, it is a thirty dollar value if you include. Uh, the shipping um, normally and you get 20 bags 20 of the tiny 20 of the small 20 of or the extra small <laughs> 20 of the small baker's dozen which is 13 for those of you that aren't familiar with the baker's dozen of the medium a baker's dozen or 13 of the medium tall Baker's dozen of the large glassine, and these are five and three quarter by seven and three quarter, so that's getting up there. And then a baker's dozen also of the six and three quarter by nine inch or the extra large. Okay, so that's the first thing that the winner will receive. The next thing that the winner will receive is one of my uh, fabric journals tag journals these are just really sweet I had these in my Etsy store and I've sold several and I'm going to include one for the winner and they're just this of course is a cardstock so that if you want to write you can put this behind and you have a nice solid you know that you can write on or you can also because these are Midori style you can take this whole um, journal out just like so so you can replace you know and put new ones in and have your cover um, this of course is wonderful fabrics uh, vintage fabrics and some of my cottons I have quilted I have lace I've got glassine I've got tags I've got ribbons and you can hear the crunchy crinkle and then the insert includes some of these amazing images here's a fun tag and in the back we've got a guest check there so I'll just quickly flip through coca-cola bottling company I was happy to come across those and the images in this are from vintage from 
you know, the 1920s and before, and this is 1921, this particular page. This is stitched around and doubled. And this, of course, is a paperclip tag. It's coffee dyed. You've got some fabric that have been stitched on. I've got washi tape here, some beautiful images. And this is Helen Hayes. Walter Connolly in The Good Fairy. Just some wonderful, it, I just, I, I love it. I love it. And glassine bags. And then you've got more writing paper. Music paper. Little cluster of fabrics and vintage. And a handkerchief there, an old vintage handkerchief. Beautiful stationery. Ledger paper. Just some fun, fun things that I have just had so much fun with. And then now we're on the other half. Little pockets, tuck spots, vintage calendar type posters. This is a guest book, a vintage guest book um, that I found in an antique store that hadn't been written in. So, little tags, tuck spot here, the, a lace doily. Another pocket on a pocket. So we have another one of these fun images and you've got some more writing paper in this pocket. I won't take it out. More writing space. And you've got I should just put that in there, really. Come on. Snug in there. Well, maybe that's why I kept it out. <laughs> I'll have to trim that up. And even some quilted, some of my quilting, and I, this is a paper pieced um, block that I have quilted and made a journaling card out of that as well. So there's that. I love it. And it makes it so much fun. We'll just put that in the middle right there. And you've got these fun dangles going on. Okay, that's the second thing that the winner will receive. The third thing that the winner will receive is this sweet, sweet journal. I love this. Love, love, love. I just, oh, she's so sweet. So here we've got a flower on some ledger paper and some vintage lace and old bedspread and with a ball pin, it's pinned there so you can take that off or keep it there. And I love the layers here. We've We've got the cheesecloth, the beautiful image, and then lace and paper and fabric and rickrack and sari ribbon and layers. This is selvage fabric, and I have stitched in these vintage old sari ribbon ties. We've got some lace on the inside here. And this is fabric, it's padded, but it's, it's soft and it's wonderful. Okay, and then, well, I'll show you these as we get to them. But this I made as a sample from my, uh, I have 
in my on my YouTube channel, I have some ledger paper, and I did that from here, and I've made some a lot of different paper clips. And these are vintage ladies for the most part. So I'm just going to kind of quickly thumb through here another ball pin that you get the idea. We like lace, we like vintage, we like combining all kinds of materials here to get the look that we're going for. There's some of that. And then we've got this. I'm trying to remember who who I watched turn their paper clips like this and I can't remember. So I I you know, there are more than one, I'm sure. Little tuck spot done with washi tapes, cut and stitched. Just love, love, love. And each page has a paper clip on it because of the ledger paper. Well, most. There may be one or two that don't. But I, you know, and you can go ahead and you can put pictures in here over this, or you can paint over it, or you can add paper and write over it, or just, you know, with a marker, you can go over that as well. But I just fell in love with all these amazing images. And I just, you know, I just want to, I just want to share. I'm so grateful for your support. And I wanted to make sure that I give away something that I would love to get, to receive. And so that's kind of how I determined what I would do as, uh, you know, as my giveaways. Another paper clip. More. This is just a whole bunch of fun little tags and we've got washi and different ephemera. Ugh. Mm-mm-mm. Just had so much fun. And I just, going through it again, I'm just like, oh, I do love it. I knew I loved it, but I still love it. Oh, gosh. So we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. And we've got a pocket here as well on this particular page. And of course I've used some of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Mm -mm -mm. Just had fun with this. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're getting down to it. Um, almost the end. Here's another one of my little sewn, my paper piece, little bits and pieces fabric together. And I've got a uh, pattern paper ruffle here and lace underneath that and sari ribbon here and little charms and more Tim Holtz paper dolls. And of course the amazing ledger paper and journaling. Oh, just so, so sweet. And then we have our last, oops, that was supposed to go over here. Just a fun little tug spot. Isn't that gorgeous? It's not really a tuck spot. It's just a journaling, just a pretty, just a snippet. Here we've got a little pocket, little corner pocket. And we have included another, only this one is done 
with a bobby pin to hold it together and then this image and lace and some old lace and handkerchief so that is also what the winner will receive and in the middle I forgot to show you now I learned to do these several years ago I'm trying to think of who the gal was that I watched her videos I can't remember but I just you know you just kind of bling them up and and uh, I love these and these are paper clips that you just dress up and make pretty so that is the journal journal this is this took hours and hours and hours to complete so so there you have it my friends this is first prize all of these things first prize for the giveaway that I'm doing okay second prize I'm giving away this sweet this is similar to this only this one is not quite as fancy it's still very beautiful but it doesn't have quite the bells and whistles and this one is plain inside so that you can embellish to your heart's desire so I have just included some fun pages lays different languages different styles types all kinds of different types of papers here for you to go ahead and put your spin on and do what you like this too was very fun I love all these different papers I have a lot and there again I wanted to share I want to share I have been very blessed and I want to give you a few of you the opportunity to just have fun and have a little bit of my art and as just a, a special thank you thank you for your support and this comes out you can pull this out and you can put different folders in there so that is the little journal to embellish and you will also receive this fun decorated pocket made from papers and I have added stamps and fabric and stitching you've got two two pockets here two for tags or whatever and then this is some of my fabric that I make from scraps from threads I want to bring this up so you can just really take a peek see at all of the stitching and the different threads and bits and pieces of scraps that I have used and then just putting them together in a way that I think is beautiful and I have made this cover and lined it and I've just created a pocket and you will be receiving a planner a calendar planner from July obviously that you you'll lose July I'm sorry but 
but you will get through June of 2022, so that's almost two years for this little calendar. And it's brand new, brand new. And so you will receive, second place winner will receive these things. Okay. And then third place winner will receive this pocket that I have created. This one has three. Nope, I thought it had three. One, two, nope, just two. <laughs> but how fun. Isn't that cute? Just adorable. So you can put that in a journal, put a tag in it, put a note, send it to somebody that you love. A, a bestie. Here's a little tag journaling card. And I have quilted and added some vintage pieces. And this is a pocket calendar. So you can replace it. It has these little slits. And this is um, lined by a, a heavy card stock. I've stitched to it. So here again, you have almost two years worth of a calendar in an adorable, pretty little package. So there's that. And then the last thing is this pocket or this um, card from a CD holder that I have embellished and opened up and created a journaling card. Uh, you can special note to send someone. Just again, another little piece of my art that I want to share. And now it doesn't want to go in the pocket. <laughs> it's like, no, you cannot put me back. So this is what third place will win these items here. Okay. Phew. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm tired now. Okay. Now the rules are fairly simple. Number one, you must be a subscriber on my channel. And I have to verify that you are a subscriber, which means you must have your subscriber set to public so I can view that. If you have it to private and I can't see that you're a subscriber of mine, then you won't be allowed. I, you know, you just, you have to be a subscriber and I have to be able to verify it. That's number one. Number two is you are to send me at my address and I will have that in the description below what my address is snail mail which will include your name your username your information your address anything for me to be able to get a hold of you that's how I'm going to pick the winner, not through the posts on this video, but on the mail that I receive. The winner will be drawn from that pile. Um, so when I receive mail in, your, your name, uh, I'll keep all of the envelopes. I'll keep all the mail, of course, but the uh, names and addresses the names will go in a pool to be for the drawing and the addresses then I will have already so that I can mail out your prize um, so that's the first thing is snail mail with your information then the added thing that I want you to do is I want you to send me a little bit of your art um, and that's in the various means that I'm going to explain to you right now. One is an ATC card. 
an ATC card is just a simple two and a half by three and a half piece of art. Here are some that I have received and I, I love making them. Um, I like to collect them. It can be any theme. Um, it should have, you only decorate one side and the back side has your information on it. So, ATC card is one possibility. Another possibility is you can send me a decorated envelope. Um, it could be a pocket, a decorated, an envelope that you've made into a pocket. It can be, you know, what, whatever you want. Um, on everything that you send, I'm asking you to please keep it finish with not a lot of high embellishments because that would make it difficult for mail purposes. The idea is for you to send me a tiny little piece of your art um, that's easy to mail and then I have, you know, I have some of your artwork which I'm excited about. You could also send me a Rolodex card and that would be the standard size on the Rolodex cards. Um, let's see, I wrote that down here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Four inches by two and a quarter inches. That's the size that I'm looking for. I have, and I'll, let me grab just a sec. Be right back. Do, do, do. <laughs> this is one of my Rolodex holders. This is an antique one. This one I am keeping, I do, when I mail out things to people, I, I put their names and addresses on the back. So you only have to send me one side decorated, okay, just like the ATC. And you can put your name and your address on the back. So it could be a Rolodex card. And that again would be four inches or two and a quarter inches by four inches. Okay. Another thing that you could send me would be a small decorated bag. Like, for instance, well, let's see, let me grab something here. Here's something, I have a little decorated bag on this iCAD card, and I've put a little notebook in here, and you don't have to do a notebook or anything like that. And here's a little decorated bag. So it could be, you know, whatever you want. This is, I'm trying to give you several options so that you, you know, do what you enjoy, you know, more. Um, okay, is that it? Do, do, do. Let me see if I've included everything. Okay, so it can be a decorated ATC card, a standard Rolodex card, a small uh, decorated bag or an envelope decorated in some way could be turned into a tuck spot, a journaling spot, a pocket, whatever. Um, so those are the four things and you don't have to just pick one. I'm, I'm not asking for a whole bunch of stuff here. That's that's not the idea. The idea is I just want to get to know you a little bit more. And in I just, yeah, yeah. So, okay, guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The last giveaway for subscriber was when I... Oh, a few years ago when I did a, a Christmas journal when I hit 500 subscribers. And that was amazing. And I just, I want to give back. 
and I want to thank you. So, those are the rules. Until next video, guys, have a fabulous day. Bye now. A little addendum here. Um, this is open to international as well as stateside. For those of you that live out of the country, what you will need to do, though, is your mail date will have to be the 15th of August. I know that doesn't give you as much time, but I want to give you at least two weeks for mail to get to me. I don't want anybody to miss out. And if something happens that you have mailed it and you've mailed it by the 15th, um, I will wait to have the drawing. I felt really bad. I had three participants that their mail came after I had my last drawing. And so I told them that they would be in my next drawing, which happens to be this 5,000 giveaway. And so they, I will highlight them in another video. All right, that's it. Bye, guys.